Malachi, thank you. Sis 716 right now. Time for our hometown spotlight presented by Dave Edwards Toyota, an NFL team owner and a former Carolina resident helping to make college possible for high school students. Bob McNair owns the Houston Texans. He and his wife Janice are handing out more than a million dollars in scholarships. Christine Scarpelli live at East Rutherford High School to tell us all about hey guys. it. Hey, Christine. Yes, it is starting to get pretty exciting. Lots of students showing up. Of course, you know, it's the time. It's the end of the year. Everybody's excited. But talk about a leg up on the way to college. This year, that looks like about 192 students. Three high schools all across Rutherford County getting $5,600 scholarships each, guys. That's really going to help for that first year of school. And, you know, really, this foundation has a huge local tie. You know, we've been talking about it all morning. Now we're so excited to have Superintendent Dr. Janet Mason here with us, and she's got a whole crew that can tell us a little bit more about just the impact these scholarships have, you know, even before they go off to college. You're telling me so many great things about volunteer hours. You got to tell me and also introduce the uh, fine folks we have behind us. Yes, thank you. I'm joined this morning with our board members, uh, John Condry, Beth Miller, and Mike Gavin, and of course, our executive director, Monica Lee. Great but as superintendent, um, I have a unique perspective of serving on the Board of Trustees as well as working with the school system. And so I've been able to see the advantages that our students have and the benefit it brings to our school system as well and the other opportunities. I think one thing that's interesting about the um, ROPE scholarship is the requirement that in order to apply and be considered, the students have to earn 100 hours of community service Which learning. Which can sound like a lot, it right? Does, but there's does. opportunities. There are many opportunities. Yeah. Our, our community frequently will call the school and say, hey, we have a need for some students to come and help. Like tomorrow, we have students who are helping with our Lead of the Pack 5K race. But oh, yeah. yes. Talk about oh, that. yes. Yes. So that's a great opportunity even for students in the ninth, 10th, 11th grade year to begin the process and space those 100 hours out over the course of the four years. The thing that's really interesting and I think will long be a legacy for Mr. and Mrs. McNair is the community so appreciates what they've done for us that just we didn't tell the students that these hours are called McNair hours just over the years. Students have started referring to service learning hours as go. McNair hours. We appreciate and, that. And I think yes. that's unique. Don't you guys think? Yes. I mean, what a neat thing. Yeah. So clearly a very influential program here happening in East Rutherford. Guys, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Christine. Yes. 719 is the time.